My friends, on Yom Kippur, we read the book of Jonah. Jonah is commanded by God to go to the city of Nineveh, one of the largest cities in ancient Mesopotamia, and the capital of Israel's most dangerous enemy, the Assyrian Empire. Go warn the inhabitants of Nineveh, says God, that the city will be destroyed in 40 days unless the people repent from their sins and wickedness. Jonah does not want to go. Rather than heed God's call, Jonah escapes his assignment by boarding a ship sailing in the opposite direction to Tarshish across the Mediterranean Sea. A great storm appears and threatens the ship with total destruction. Jonah finally admits to the sailors on board that by running from God, it is he who is responsible for their plight, whereupon they throw him overboard. God sends a giant fish to swallow Jonah. He spends three nights in the belly of the fish and seemingly repents. Three days later, the fish spits Jonah up onto land. Now, the reluctant prophet heads for the city of Nineveh to deliver the intended prophecy. An appropriate reading for Yom Kippur, as the book of Jonah presents two very different stories about repentance. The city of Nineveh repents. God is merciful and forgives them. On the other hand, Jonah finds repentance nearly impossible. He never really repents, just continually runs from his mistakes. The Midrash, in discussing the story of Jonah, describes the storm that threatens the ship. And I quote, All the other ships in the water sailed peacefully along. Only Jonah's ship was in distress. The storm is raging around Jonah. But as he looks elsewhere, the sun is shining. My friends, how is it possible for a single ship to struggle in a terrible storm, while all the other ships in sight sail along quietly and peacefully. A profound message and insight as we are about to recite the Yiskor Memorial Service. So many of our hearts are torn by grief the loss of parents, a husband, wife, brother, sister, wounds which have not been healed. Often our grief is more difficult to bear because it seems that the rest of the world is sailing merrily along. And yet the fact is that we are all beset by trouble and sorrow. There is total democracy in our suffering. What throws us off is the timing of that suffering. Our setbacks are at different times, but we all have our sorrows and challenges. Like Jonah, we think that the storm has only engulfed us while the sun is shining everywhere else. Storms which come into our lives. The wave strikes one ship before it reaches another. In our unhappiness, it seems that only our ship is beset by the storm and that others have clear skies and smooth sailing. My friends, look more closely. We have not been singled out. We have not been separated from the rest of 
humanity by our troubles. On the contrary, trouble, sorrow, grief, bereavement is part and parcel of the human condition. Perhaps this is why we now come together to say Yiskor. As we look upon others remembering and memorializing, we are vividly reminded that we are all knit together in the commonality of pain and sorrow. Another's pain does not lessen our own, but it may help to move us from self-pity to the healing that comes from binding up the wounds of another.